Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, hallelujah. Oh, praise God. I once was lost in sin, so bound by the chains and shackles of sin that I could not even breathe. But then Jesus rescued me from a life of sin and misery. He set me up on a rock. Praise God, I'm there to stay. Woo! Oh, hallelujah, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God, amen, amen. You can be seated in Jesus' name, hallelujah, hallelujah. It's so good to be in church tonight. Oh, and I am thankful for what I feel, praise God, praise God. It's, uh, it's a rough world out there, in case you didn't know. I just thought I'd clue you in. It's, uh, it's, uh, sometimes it's hard to really understand why we have to go through what we have to go through sometimes. But I can't find anywhere in the Bible that it says you need to understand. But I can find in the Bible that you need to trust me. Praise God. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall... Direct thy path. Amen. He shall direct us. And it's like uh, the other way, uh, let me say it like this. The other day I was driving down the highway of life, Brother Andy, and I hit a bump in the road, man. And I did not see it. I didn't see it at all. It about jolted me out of my vehicle. And I'm thinking, what did I hit? I didn't see it. I did not even suspect that it was there. I like driving. I like driving down the interstate of life just as well as you do. But sometimes we have to get on some bumpy roads. When we do, we got to put our faith and our trust in God that He will help us through whatever we are about to go through. We may hit a roadblock. And we may think we are never going to get through here because there is no way that I can move it. And I agree. There is no way that you can move it, but God can. If we seek His face and we seek His face and pray, God will move for us in our life. If we take just a little bit of faith and put it with a little bit of unction of prayer, God will do the impossible with absolutely nothing except a little bit of faith. If we have faith as a grain of mustard seed, which is not very much, okay, it's just really small, God can do the miraculous with just a little bit of faith. I texted Pastor Anthony a couple of weeks ago, maybe a couple of weeks ago, and I said, Pastor, Pastor Anthony, and I don't really text you a whole lot because I know you're busy, man. You're busy. I said, will you please pray for me? I didn't tell him why. I didn't tell him anything. But I knew he was praying. And, and it seemed as though that the pressure that I was feeling in my life, in other words, the weight of the world weighing down on me, it seemed as though it began to lift. Why did it begin to lift? Because I knew my pastor was praying for me because I just asked him to. And as it began to lift, I began to weep because I knew that he had touched God for me that very moment. The bump that I had hit in the road was about to overtake me. It doesn't matter what you come up against. If you would put your faith and your trust in God, God will remove it. Now when I say he will remove it, let me say it like this. He'll actually take a pick and get it out of the way in case you go by that way again and he'll put it up as a stone for you. That's what you hit. That's what you run over. Now let me say it like this. We are overcomers by our testimony and the word. Oh, praise God, praise God, praise God. In the Old Testament, I remember when uh, 
Joshua came across Jordan that he gave commandments to the 12, to, to 12 different men of the 12 tribes of Israel to stack up stones on the other side of Jordan. And he also gave orders for them to stack up 12 stones in the middle of Jordan where the priest stood with the Ark of the Covenant. Where the waters of Jordan were stayed in a heap. Think about that. In a heap. Those stones that become obstacles in our life can become a memorial that we lay up. We build walls with those memorials. Praise God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Oh, praise God. When we build those walls of those stumbling stones that we go across in life, we can look back on that as a testimony and you can say to whoever's going through maybe whatever it is, I have no clue. We all go through something. And if you're not going through something, just hang in there. You'll go through it. You don't have to worry about that. You'll be going through it. When you go through it, you can look back and you can say, Ah, I can remember when God moved for me. I remember the very place he moved for me. I remember the very time he touched me. I remember the very time I was going through the highway of life and I hit this bump in the road and it about threw me for a loop. I thought it was going to kill me. Those stones were stacked up on the other side of Jordan and also in the middle of Jordan as a testimony to the children that they could tell their children, this is where God brought us from. We used to be over there. And we came through the river. We came through the Jordan right there. Made it all the way to this side. This is why we're here today. And this is the land that we are going to possess. A lot of us have built a lot of things in our life. And it's good to have things. It's good to have a bank account. It's good to be able to pay your bills. It's good to have a good vehicle to get around in. If you say you don't need those things, you're lying and your feet ain't mates. Well, that's an old one, okay? But we all need these things. And if you don't think money is spiritual, I got news for you. Just let God bless you just a little bit. And if you don't shout and thank God for it, there's something wrong with you. Because all blessing comes down from above. Okay? If you need a raise, ask God for it. He'll give it to you. If you've got bills you can't pay, trust God. Ask God. You'll be able to pay them. You'll be able to look at those stones that God has placed in your life, not to take you down, but to build up your faith even greater than what it is or what it would be. Without those stones in your life, stumbling stones, let me say it like that, could, would, would you or could you realize where God could bring you from and take you to? I've told the story about my mother. My daddy died when I was five. Got killed in a coal mine. Six kids at home. She had, you know, she got a worker's comp check because my father was killed in the coal mine and a social security check. And at that time, if we got sick, she'd just lay hands on us and pray for us. A dollar went a long way, but five dollars even went farther. And I'll never forget as long as I live. My brother told me one day, he said, you know, I can't understand. He said, you get sick? And he said, Mom just lays her hands on you and prays for you. He said, when all it is is five dollars to go to the doctor, they'll do anything for you. Well, she needed that $5 for something else worse than she needed to give it to the doctor. So she took it to Dr. Jesus, and Jesus did the work. That's one of the stones in my life that I can look back on. In other words, let me say the wall, okay? I got the stone wall. And we don't build walls. Let me say it We don't build walls to keep people in. We build walls to keep the wolves out. Does that make sense? I mean... Hello? We don't got no walls. In other words, if we don't got memorials in our life and testimonies in our life, that bump in the road will take you out and you won't know where you're going to end up. 
Praise God. We have walls built out of memorial stones in our life where we've had to come across and God's only put it there to make us stronger, not to defeat us or not to destroy us. You put your trust in God. Put your faith in God. Believe. I don't care what you're going through. I, I, it, I, oh, Jesus, help me. It doesn't matter what you're going through. God can bring you through it, bring you to the other side, and when you look back, you can raise your hands and you can praise God and say, thank you, Jesus, for bringing me through that situation, those circumstances that were beyond my control. Even when we get ourselves in trouble, God will get us out of trouble. <laughs> Some of you don't believe me. I remember when I was a boy. My brother, he was three years younger than me. We didn't have enough sense to know. We were, you know, we were sibling rivalry, okay, all the time. I'd get in trouble. He'd go get a switch for mom. For me. He'd get in trouble. I'd go get a better one than he got for me. But it didn't take us long to realize, hey, we're killing each other. We need to get the most flip. Not just. Hello? Come on. God gave us gray matter and two ears. But even when we make the wrong decisions, God can help us and turn it around and make it better. What the devil meant for evil to destroy us, God meant it for good. I'm going to read a scripture for you. This is found in Isaiah 5, 1, 2, and 3. It goes like this. It says, Now will I sing to my well-beloved a song of my beloved, touching his vineyard. My well-beloved had, a, had a, a vineyard and a very fruitful hill. And he fenced it. You know how we are sometimes. We've got projects we want to work on and we want to make them so beautiful and so, oh, we just, that's just the way we are. That's the way I am. I don't want to have to do something. Huh? Well, do we just want to throw it together? Whatever it is. Ladies, if you're cooking, do you just want to throw it together? And I hope it, I hope it you know, pops out of the oven. Oh, this is great. I didn't have to do nothing. I just threw it in and here come out a nice baked cake. He fenced it and gathered out the stones thereof. And planted it with a vineyard. My, my, my. It was so stony and so, so messed up that the stones that he gathered out of the vineyard, he made a fence out of them. And he planted a vineyard. And when the vineyard grew and flourished, it brought forth wild grapes. The enemy of your soul don't want you to enjoy nothing. But I'm here to tell you by the help and the grace of God, when he blesses you, you thank him for it. You thank him for it. Because this is the will of God concerning Christ Jesus in you. God will bring you out on I'm coming out on top. Praise God. I'm not going to be willed, I'm not going to be bewildered by the enemy's devices to destroy me. I am not going to go there. Because greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Praise God. I am determined to make heaven my home. Praise God. Praise God. I'm excited about what God is doing in our lives. I'm excited about what God is doing in this church. This is a great church. Man, this is a great church. We got a great pastor. Hallelujah. We got great leadership in this church. Praise God. And I'm not knocking nobody. We're blessed. Praise God. Praise God. It's like this. In the highway of life, if you live long enough, it's going, you're going to come past it and you're going to see it. 
But don't let that get you bewildered. Don't let that get you down. Just keep on trusting. Just keep on believing. Just keep on seeking God. Just keep on interceding. Just keep on worshiping. Just keep on praising God. Just keep, just keep on believing that He is going to do the impossible with absolutely nothing. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was void and without shape. And darkness was up on the face of the earth. How did the sun get there? How did the moon get there? How did everything get there that got there? Through the spoken word of God. <laughs> the Bible says, and this is a good one, the Bible says that he has placed his, his word even above his name. We wouldn't even know his name if it wouldn't be for his word. Think about it. Oh, I am so thankful for the word of God, and I am so thankful for a church that preaches the, the Bible. Woo! Still preaches the Bible, still stays in the book. And Pastor Anthony, I have to compliment you. Man, you are the master when you get up here and you preach. When you get up here, listen to me. When you get up here, I mean, I'm just, we are so blessed. If I feel like I've been to a crusade every Sunday. Help me, Jesus. Woo. I mean, you know, you know what that comes from? That comes from a lot of bumps in the road. It might be just a bump in the road, but when you get across it, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I see where you're bringing me from. I see what you're protecting me from. I see where you're taking me to. And slow down. I got a lead foot. But I ain't got many tickets lately. So I must be slowing down. And I am slowing down, believe me, more ways than one. But in one year, I got three speeding tickets on the turnpike. In one year. Because I thought I had to get somewhere in a hurry. But the place was still there after I got pulled over by the state police and journeyed on my way. They didn't have one clue that I had got a ticket. They were still there. And the last time I got pulled over, I'll never forget it. I begged the trooper. Please don't give me a ticket. I said, they'll take my drive. I'm, I guess this is good for me. I don't know. I don't even know why I'm telling you. I begged him for not to give me a ticket. No. No. It was a lady. She didn't give me a ticket. She seen a grown man cry. She didn't give me a ticket. <laughs> I said, thank you, Jesus. I haven't forgot her name. I still know her name. I don't want to say it, but anyway. But she's really, really sweet lady, man. She just said, I've got to give you a ticket. I said, please don't give me a ticket. I cried like I cried to my mother when she whooped me. I knew I'd been caught. But in life, if you live long enough, it'll come down. To, it'll, it'll come down the pike at you. But just trust God and believe God. Regardless of the circumstances, regardless of how bleak it may look. <laughs> he has been so good to me. Only believe. Only believe. All if you'll only believe, only believe, only believe, all things are possible if you'll only believe. Lord, I believe the Lord Jesus is going to help us all make it.
under the sound of my voice, there's not no excuse that we have for not making heaven our home, regardless of what comes our way. Just give it to Jesus, give it to God, and just keep moving forward. Don't doubt him. He knows where you are. He knows where you live. He's got your social security number. He knows your address. He knows what you're going through. God will bring you through it. We are overcomers by, our te- by the word of our testimony. He's all. In other words, we've all came through things. And God has always been there. He knows where we're at. Let's all stand. This is all I have. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you tonight. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. If you trust the Lord, I want you to raise your hands all across this building right now. And I want you to begin to tell the Lord, Lord, I trust you with everything in me. As they begin to sing, that's it all across this building. Just say, Lord, I trust you with my heart. God, I trust you with my life. I trust you, Lord. I trust you with everything that I have. Lord, there's some things I don't understand. And Lord, there's some things that I don't have all the answers for. But God, I trust you with everything tonight. For God, we know that you're with us every step of the way. And I thank you for it, Lord, in the name that is above every name. The name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, we put our faith. We put our faith. That God, in knowing that nothing's impossible with you, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, yes, I thank you, Lord. Oh, sing it all. There is nothing like the presence of the Lord. Oh, yes. There is nothing like the presence of the Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. As we seek his face, he is here in this place. There is nothing like the presence of the Lord. Well, if you believe that, we'll just sing it. If you trust him and you know in his presence there is fullness of joy.